All right, here we are in a beautiful late afternoon in Whittier, California, looking at a very sweet 1939 Ford Deluxe Convertible. Very beautiful car. It's actually called a Cabriolet. It has a rumble seat in the back. The last year they did it. This particular car is part of a collection of a legendary uh, Southern California hot rodder here who's done a lot of wood grain work for the industry for many years. His sons are in the business. Um, very special car. It's received a body off restoration. You'll never know by looking at the car the age of it, but the car has less than 1,200 miles on it. It's been stored here in SoCal with his collection of other cars. It's finished in a beautiful Folkestone gray, so it's kind of a tannish color. It's a little bit dark here in the light, but I think you're getting a real feel of the elegance of the car. It has beautiful fender skirts on the back. This car's actually been judged before. Um, several years ago, he purchased the car. It's actually part of the family. He purchased the car in 1987 and then uh, proceeded with the body off restoration and it was completed in 1992 roughly about there and only about 1200 miles. Uh, flathead V8, all the stock finished in a stock style format. Uh, I love the fender skirts on it. They're actually OEM uh, Henry fender skirts, but 1940s, the first year they had a part number on them, so these are 40 skirts, but they're Henry skirts. They're not aftermarket, they're steel. I actually put them on with him. The lips and everything are nice, and we took videos of that, so hang on to the end of the video. I love the skirts on this car. It has a uh, LeBaron Bonnie soft top on it. Has a flathead V8. Neat little story. Wait till we get underneath the hood. But again, all cloth wiring done factory for correct style. He's upgraded the rear axle to a ratio that makes it very much drivable. It's with a 325 ratio in the rear axle. So factory single exhaust car, artillery style wheels, 39. Has upgraded stainless uh, or you know beautified uh, wheel trim on it here. Firestone Deluxe Champion Bias Ply Tires 616. We put it up on a ramp and did some undercarriage for you. You'll want to hang around to the end of the video. But this gentleman, I learn something new when I do this every time. Um, I learn something new every day when I'm out doing this and I've been doing this 30 years and uh, this particular gentleman knows his Fords. Um, to almost the ten <laughs> he knows them. 39 World's Fair license plates. If the car stays in California, the plates will go to the owner that purchases. If it goes out of state, I, uh, it'd be something we would have to discuss. The Folkestone Gray is the perfect color for this car. It's just elegant in its presence. The skirts just throw this thing over the top. Uh, I really wanted to do it by putting the skirts on it. White Waltz tires, the deluxe trim of a 39 is very special. The grill and bright work on this car, the fit is just right. You'd never know, this car was finished in 92. It's finished in a uh, acrylic enamel with a hardener, probably a Centauri or a uh, Sherwin-Williams at the time. Um, factory style color, folks own gray. A lot of guys that love this car, this color. It's not really a gray, it's kind of a, just a beautiful tan color. All the trim lines up beautifully like it's supposed to here. Again, we're going to spend time under the hood and stuff, and I'll tell you more. Uh, OEM running boards that have been recovered. It is a rumble seat model. We'll actually cover in some of the photos at Spud's Garage. We took a lot of photos at Spud's Garage. and uh, So make sure you go to spudsgarage.com. With LeBaron Bonnie leather style interior in it. All factory trim. This particular gentleman probably wrote the book on uh, doing trim, the wood grain trim on these cars and uh, or a lot of Fords and a lot of different makes. Uh, I believe he called this tiger wood, is that what you called it Bob? Tiger tail on the doors here. It has uh, uh, the straight grain on the dash. It has a factory radio in it, however it's not working if you want to, I know somebody that if you want to tune that in, but everything's there factory wise factory rubber mat on the floor. Those radios are really temperamental so it's not unusual to say one's not working. We never test radios anyway but all the components are there. LeBaron Bonnie style leather interior. Very nice correct style factory style stitching. 
uh, hanging onto the video when we cover the engine compart or the uh, rumble seat in the back you'll see that uh, these curtains these are correct curtains I'm not going to take them off but this is access to the trunk area the over on the other side has access to the spare all the top has been redone on interesting note he just never puts the top down on his cars he had this top installed by a gentleman here that really knows convertible chops in Southern California many 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 years ago uh, the top has actually never been down other than operation when they were installing it so uh, we're not going to put it down for you if you want to put it down that's up to you um, but it's never been down never been pinched doors and you can always tell a good restoration on a car or it was a good car to begin with the way the doors shut the handles don't have a sag to them always get fans coming by great look here I love those skirts on this car has the uh, steps for the rumble seat here you don't see many uh, rumble seat cabriolets this is a beautiful car you release that lever down there in the trunk and it kind of, you have to kind of anyway I did a little video of that for you so hang on we'll cover that Again, an authentic style restoration, beautifully done. England, I think you're England there, yeah. Oh, yeah, your cars are there. So we're uh, over here doing a video here. What a beautiful view on this car. Have a good day. Always gathers admirers when we're out doing these kind of cars. beautiful car anyway we're gonna get in here we took several videos of it running and turning around um, starts wonderfully every time I've started it I'll start it up now I moved around a couple times myself you can't even hear it run again the trim the gentleman that did the restoration also does trim I'm semi retired from that right now it has a, uh, I think I covered the heart soft cloth, and he wanted a little bit of uh, contrast here, so it's got a nice, elegant look. Show you up close, this has never been down or messed with. Sometimes it'll get tattered on the edge there. Emergency brake, factory emergency brake works. I've said it several times doing this. Come over to the back side here get the headliner again fully functional top we're just not going to put it down for you you can do that rubber mat goes all the way to the rear catch a door jam view here for you banjo steering wheel deluxe banjo steering wheel a lot of the time you'll see these cars either uh, the horn button's been attached wrong or something like that these are supposed to stay stationary the deluxe is when you turn the uh, steering wheel and it's doing what it's supposed to do on off switch ignition uh, key lock or column lock throttle control throttle and choke for those warm-ups I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up here for you Put it in neutral. Put the key to the on position. Key's already unlocked the column. Starts right up. <laughs> Oil pressure gauge works. It's got the uh, glass mercury style temp for the uh, radiator. No over issues there. Battery's coming up. Fuel gauge is working. I'm going to get out, let you hear it run, invite you in. You want to go to Spud's Garage where I took a lot of really nice photos of this car. I'm digging my visit here. I forgot to cover the gravel shield in the back. You usually don't see those. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video. There you go. About time I tell you to get in. Go to spudsgarage.com, hang on to the end of the video. Have a great day. All right, I'm going to have Bob open the deck lid or the uh, rumble seat area for us. You want to stick your hand up there because it comes up. You see how you pull the latch in the rear there. 
finish all the way through here has the correct curtains so there's access to the back of the seat to this area <coughs> little pocket in the back LeBaron Bonnie style interior so you see the floor pans here on the top side are also body color that's the spare tire in that box there. in that box here is the spare and you can access it from the front with a curtain correct Bob yeah, yeah. Door. through the driver's door right there. So the spare is right there where the curtain is and you can see the panel from the back so it's got a full-size spare of course it's 1939 right. <laughs> I didn't even know what a mini spare was go over here and show you these uh, rumble seat entry steps are on it what a fun car anyway hang on to the end of the video we we'll definitely have more for you we're losing light so I'm rushing along Already fired it up there. It's gonna turn it around for us. You gotta love it with those skirts on it. Gonna watch me. Yes, sir. Easy. All right, let's get underneath the hood. This is really fun to do. I'm actually enjoying my time out here looking at this car. This is a very nice little 39 convertible. I love doing the engine compartment, as you know. Uh, correct in its presentation and style, this car's actually been judged. The restoration was done uh, with that in mind. You'll see a lot of the factory items that you would normally see on one of these cars, the factory style cloth wiring. You see the choke and throttle cables, how they come through the firewall here. You'll see put the actually put the uh, all the uh, ground cables to the block there. It has an updated uh, Optima battery gel battery in it, which is a great idea with these cars. Still has the six volt system on it. The engine itself has a neat little story, and we're going to cover that here for you in just a minute. And that's probably the fun part about it here. Runs like a uh, just runs beautifully. You'll see the factory fan down there where the uh, engine crank would come through if you needed to start it has uh, exo factory exhaust manifolds on it you'll see those right there um, 39 Ford cylinder heads and intake manifold but what we're going to tell you about the engine this picker engine is uh, kinda got a neat little story the owner very much won a legendary SoCal hot rodder and uh, some of you guys know this car and uh, some of his cars but uh, this particular engine came out of prior to the restoration he had purchased several of them but obsolete Ford parts in Orange California was getting uh, engines out of World War II motor pool they were actually on pallets shipped here they were fully Cosmoline well in the early 80s um, they had uh, brought in about 50 of these and Bob actually bought six of those engines five or six of those engines anyway they would come in if these engines had a problem in the motor pool they wouldn't allow them to touch them it was the army I believe they wouldn't allow them to touch the internals of the car the design of this bell housing a lot of these engines were just pulled out because the bell housing itself they considered that if they had to touch the clutch it was internal towards the engine components so they'd replace these so they'd tie them to a pallet and they'd resell them in the aftermarket uh, but he had about six of these now the restoration he purchased this car like an 87 completed in about 1992 but at the time he picked up the components because their intakes had uh, you know attachments for PTOs or things like that or different kind of mounting hardware on the intakes so correct 39 intake that Bob has put on it correct he cylinder heads but he also went into the internals this is all Henry internals basically he went in and checked everything so it's a standard board block it didn't need anything he put all new gaskets and seals in it you'll hear it run throughout the process here of the video maybe you've already heard it run um, but it's just runs like a kitten so to speak and uh, so it's uh, got a neat World War II motor pool style uh, little story too underneath the hood factory fuel pump here again we think you get the idea definitely hang on to the end of the video we spend some time on the undercarriage thanks for coming
All right, we're going to do the undercarriage here for you like we always do, but uh, we took the extra time to, to lift this up so we could get to it. He doesn't have a lift here. Uh, I wanted to share a little bit on the exterior here um, because you're gonna, we're going to photograph it with skirts and that kind of thing on it, the factory skirts in the rear, and we want to kind of give you a look and feel with the uh, uh, without the skirts on. It has uh, Firestone tires on it, white walls, 616s, factory bias style, has upgraded stainless steel hubcaps on it. It's a trim trim kit that you put on these. It has uh, the tires are about eight years old, but this car has less than a thousand miles on it. It's been kept here in the shop in the garage. Um, we're gonna go around the front here and cover the uh, front end with you while we're doing this, and then we'll get up underneath and I'll cover the bottom side for you so they make sure you get it all. The undercarriage on this car is just as nice as the top of the car when it comes to the finish. Folkstone gray floor pans, so on and so forth. Factory style restoration, what's really nice here, you can tell he's never hit the chin on it here. Usually you'll see a mark or so there. Um, full respect to originality style restoration on it. We get up here in the front, you can actually see the headlight buckets and the Folkstone gray floor pan, or uh, bottom of the fenders here. Very nice car, it has been judged many years ago. See the headlight buckets up in here. Three of these fenders on this car are the original of the car. They're all steel. Uh, it was a good solid car prior to. The front end here. I'm gonna actually get underneath in here and we'll go over to the, we'll cover this in sections for you. So I'm gonna take a break here after I get this covered. Hang on for more. Give you a little view from here from the back, but most of what I cover will be covered from the uh, sides where I can share the floor pans and stuff with you. But again, uh, the same level of original style uh, restoration on this car. The rear end is a 325 ratio, which is perfect for a flathead. Anyway, I'm not able to show you a bunch right here because of the way the light's coming in. So hang on for more. Okay, we're going to get up underneath here on the uh, from the side on the driver's side and we're going to share this in sections and we'll end up on the passenger side. You'll see uh, up into the fenders here, like we talked about, it's finished uh, in Folkestone Gray. Very nice body off style restoration. Uh, you'll see the master cylinder right there. They use the cloth wiring for out, uh, throughout it. Chassis has been restored. Original VIN number on the chassis, we'll cover that in the engine compartment and probably already have. Um, gonna roll over here. Kind of give you an idea. Very nice, honest restoration on this car. Uh, the bottom side of the running boards, these running boards are finished in black just like the chassis. I know I'm talking right over the speaker here. Uh, they've had the new uh, Several years ago they had a rubber kit that you could put rubber on these boards and that's what's been done to them. They're Henry Steel. Kind of give you a uh, zoom in there. Tip my camera. Factory rear differential again, 325 ratio. Single exhaust, runs through the frame over there on the passenger side. Emergency brakes are all connected. All right, hang on just a minute and I'll cover the other side for you. Again, we'll cover the bottom of the pan there. There you go. We're here on the passenger side. We're over here on the passenger side anyway. Again, we're trying to give you as good a look as we can. Um, I've rolled around underneath this car. This is exceptionally nice. Again, the same thing I've been talking about all the way through this video. Splash aprons are all where they're supposed to be. I'll lay down here. See a factory style muffler there, single exhaust on it, so no attempt at hot rodding it. However, this gentleman does have his share of hot rods. Bottom side of the Henry running boards. We really want you to go to Spud's Garage where we'll have a lot of still photos. We tried to capture all this stuff, but sometimes the best look is through my video camera and through my eyes when I'm talking here. Um, We'll zoom in back there, you kind of get the idea, like I always say. Anyway, go to spudsgarage.com where you'll find plenty more stuff 
Have a great day and thanks for listening to me. Okay, Bob's going to fire it up and back it off the ramps here. <laughs> it sound great. <laughs>